today. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Taking on Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. A few minutes ago, the hometown Jets were introduced to this sellout crowd, and it's a roar that could be heard across the river in Manhattan. They're set to go as their Jets will match up with the Arizona Cardinals. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cardinals here, we're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should, and what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. For the USC product, Sam Darnold, the number three overall pick in 2018, ready to go. Here's the Jets take over on offense. And this is a game for grit, determination, Here's Frank Gore, the veteran who sits third all-time in rush yards. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Run there by Frank Gore, and he has to be one of the most admired players in the NFL. Started the 2020 season, number three all-time on the rushing list. Less than 1,400 yards shy of Walter Payton as the season kicked off. It's been a year with Coach Adam Gase in Miami. Now he's hooked back up with him again with the New York Jets. Faking the give, Darnold. Got a man, it's Brashad Perriman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. Completion there to Brashad Perriman, and the best part of his game coming out of UCF his ability to run a sub 4 4 sprinter. They need him now in New York to replace speeds to Robbie Anderson, who signed with Carolina. He's going to take over the outside vertical routes that Anderson provided, and they're hoping for big plays downfield. On first down, it's Gore. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Behind the chain, second and 13. They run with Gore out of the shotgun. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Third and seven. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. you still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. 
Second and 12. On oh, the handoff, it's Gore. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers... It... And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Chris Hogan, his first touchdown of the year. And the Jets take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. The losing streak had taken on a life of its own, and I think it infiltrates a team when you're on that much of a slide. But this group has managed to focus, come out early, and put a touchdown on the board. They, they look like they mean business in this one. They do now the key, holding on to that attitude, because, man, that streak has been a struggle for them. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now Fick in to kick off following the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Cardinals now getting set to go offensively, and it'll be the dual-threat quarterback, Kyler Murray, leading the way. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something's funny when we talk to him. All he focused on were throws he missed, yeah. other opportunities that didn't get done. Good sign of a leader. Great sign of a leader because they didn't win, and that's all he cares about. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. On the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and ten. On second down, here's Murray. Fitzgerald on the slant. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Fitzgerald. 11 yards there, first down. And the Cardinal first down. Murray now on first down. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. It's second down and 10. Murray again, second and 10. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Christian Kirk, incomplete. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. He's got his man. It's Williams. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 37. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Jet sweep. Here's Fitzgerald. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. throwing on second down he's going to take off with it it's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble and now it's third down seventh play of the drive forthcoming on third and eight from the gun murray got a man it's complete williams and that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the jets 19 give him 16 yards there and it's a cardinals first down as well Arizona. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. A gain of six there on first. 
After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. For Jet seven, Cardinals nothing. Working with a second and four. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And incomplete. The tight end, Max Williams, the intended receiver. And it's third down. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. At their own Frank Gore and company trotting back out there as they get set to go again on offense. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air. That's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Now a handoff for Gore. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down. First and ten at the play fake, and it's Darnold. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there, but it's going to be second down. Baker there on the to throw once more on second and ten. Darnold. I like what they did there because many of the deep throws we see in the course of a game come to the outside, the perimeter of the field. In this case, they used a slot receiver to run deep downfield and tried to connect that way. Unsuccessful in that attempt, but I like what they were doing. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. On fourth down, rookie Braden Mann will punt for the Jets. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. Gets it away, and I don't think Peterson will get a chance to touch this one. Angling for the sideline. Cardinals take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. DeAndre Hopkins, the pro bowler, the intended receiver. Third down here. Throwing is Murray on third down. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. The former third overall pick, Quentin Williams there to bring him down. And there's Kyler Murray being sacked. And in his first year in the league, surprising to a lot of people, he was the most sacked quarterback, went down 48 times. And when you think about the mobility that he possesses, that really does surprise people because they think they can get out of everything. But so often, those young guys who can move around a lot, they keep plays alive so long that sometimes they actually get trapped. Defenses are going to test him and continue to test him. I think he's got something for them as he continues to move forward. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And the Jets will take over first and 10. 
And our focus now shifts to Frank Gore. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, trying to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Brings up second and four. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards on the play, first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, Parker, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 25 yards there on the catch and run. How about a guy proving his worth in different ways? Had the big play in the run game to play before. This time, they go right back to him in the passing game, and he comes through with yet another big play. That's why you work out so hard in the offseason, so you can stay on the field and accumulate big plays. On first down, it's Darnold. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brings up second and a yard at the 15-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. This will be caught just inside the 10. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Catch there by Jamison Crowder. 78 catches, 833 yards, and 6 touchdowns in 2019. Operates very well out of the slot. One of the niftier receivers in the league. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. To the air again, Darnold. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Darnold. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Chris Hogan with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jets will extend their lead. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. Now Ficken to kick off following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Christian Kirk on the return. The Cardinals take over first and 10. 
And there's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again, Murray. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. On first and 10, here's Murray. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And that's caught inside the 35. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Are you serious? Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. So the illegal forward pass also costs them a down, and now it's second and long. Going deep for Hopkins. And that's caught inside the 35. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They'll get 34 yards there. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick is good. Makes the score Jets 14, Cardinals 6. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. First and 10. At their own 33 yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. We'll begin up in Nashville, Buffalo in town, to take on Tennessee. And it's the Titans out in front in that one. Adam Humphreys, well over 100 yards with two touchdown catches to boot. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see there, it's the visiting LA Rams who have the lead in that one. 
The Rams try and hold on and claim victory. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they've got the lead at halftime over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Two touchdown passes there for the former MVP, Matt Ryan. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And the Jets set to receive this third quarter kickoff and they have the lead as well as we are underway in the second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Take over first and 10 at their own. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Gain on the play. And it's third down. From the gun on third down. Murray, he can run for it, and he will. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. And there's the beauty of Kyler Murray because we all know he can get it done through the air. Terrific right arm, and nowadays we don't even talk about his height anymore. He's shown that he can see downfield and make throws, but he also possesses wide receiver speed. He can call his own number or scramble and turn it into a big play as well. Kyler Murray, a dual threat at the quarterback position. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. After the sack here, second and 11. Now Hundley, this will be his first throw off the bench. And his first throw since coming in is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. So here's the Jets' offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Makes it third and eight. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Cards will take over. First and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. First down, Murray. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. 
Murray. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Shotgun now for Murray. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. A gain of 11 on the play. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Murray. He'll set up the screen to Drake. No gain on the screen there at second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. At the Jets, 20 Operating from the gun. Murray. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Larry Fitzgerald was the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well. And that one's incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And the Jets' defense making things difficult there. Fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that'll get the lead down to five. Cardinals nine. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. No, they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what she talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. So here are the Jets now to take over. They've dropped four straight games coming into this one, remember, but they have the lead here. Darnold going to lead the Jets up now first and ten at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. He's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. And right side, caught Hogan. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. Darnold on first down. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Defended by Patrick Peterson. Now it's Gore. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He's brought down at the 42-yard line. That's a gain of three. It's third and seven. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. And that will be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game. And they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Throwing on first down is Murray. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he will be taken down, but a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. And 
that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Murray now on first down. Fitzgerald's got it right side. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. A well-executed 22-yard game. And the nice Kirk catch there by Christian down. Kirk. Had 709 yards and three touchdowns in the 2019 season. I expect those numbers to continue to climb. This is a guy who can play in the slot, play outside, but the number one thing about him, absolute explosiveness, especially after he catches the ball downfield. If you don't make the tackle right there, he's going to take it a long way. Murray now on first down, sliding out of the pocket. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On first and goal, Drake. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. It will be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. He made that. He will score. Touchdown, Cardinals. Kyler Murray with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. So here's a big play for the Cardinals as they'll go for two. From the gun, Murray. And no, incomplete. They can't convert. So they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal. Instead, it stays at one here in the fourth. Well, that decision to me was all about pulling up the chart. You know, that, that beautiful chart that tells you when to go for two, when to go for chart. one. I do love it. It helps you with your decision making during heated times. And just look at it right here in this part, point of the game. Go for two. Try to make it a field goal difference. But now just up one makes the rest of this fourth quarter a little more interesting. Yeah, they followed the chart. They just didn't get the two points on the board, did they? Nope. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Jets take over first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. Chandler Jones picks up his second sack of the afternoon. When I watch Chandler Jones play for the Arizona Cardinals, I actually get a little bit jealous because he does his job as well as anyone in the league. He's played 64 games for Arizona starting this season. 60 sacks in that time frame. That's just under one per game. That type of success rate will not only keep you on the field, but also garner you a lot of honors. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. And that is incomplete. He was looking for Brashad Perriman. That takes us from second to third down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get 19 out of this, but it will still bring up a fourth down. 
fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there as they were able to connect. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And that one hits at the 7, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. At their own 20 yards. So here are the Cardinals to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first down, Murray. He dumps it off to Drake. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. A six-yard pickup. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. On second down now, it's Drake. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Murray a give. This is Drake. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's got room. And he will finally be taken down at the Jets' 25-yard line. It's a gain of 35. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And that knee will do it. So they snap the losing streak. Always a good feeling. Yeah, I don't know if this one right here when they're taking a knee is as much exultation as exhalation, right? They just breathe a sigh of relief. Finally got a win. Needed one desperately. Third down. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks.